As we stand up here together, I feel that there are only three words that I really need to say to you. You'll soon be my husband. <laughs> it was originally I love you, but this is a joke. Uh, over the years, you've shown me that love isn't constant flux. Always being on a knife's edge. Always trying to be the most perfect version of myself during a place in your life. Love with you has been acceptance. Being seen for the totality of who I am. And having that be enough. Love has been quiet and gentle. Left enough space to breathe and grow both individually and together. It's been playfulness and laughter, support and encouragement, an endless parade of clips from the office, truly, <laughs> for every occasion. <laughs> but first and foremost, love has been rooted in the strongest of friendships. It hasn't always been easy, but when it was hard, we woke up every day and still chose each other. Still worked at the difficult parts, talked it out, grew closer in our ability to ask for what we needed and give what we could of ourselves. So this is what I promise you today, to wake up every morning and keep choosing you, to choose us on the blissful days and the tough ones alike, to work together to make our home a safe and happy place, and then calling you to let me back in every time I lock myself <laughs> <laughs> To travel and explore, expanding our boundaries and our vision of, of what is possible. And finally, to find as much joy in the stillness of small moments, like reading on the couch with patches, as in the big days, like today. Gabby, <clears throat> when you love someone, you want to give them everything. And suddenly, you realize how few of the things you want to give you actually possess. I can't give you the world because it isn't mine to give, but I can dream with you about which corners of it we might run off and get ourselves lost in, and I do mean lost. I can't give you peace because we let a wild animal live in our house, but I can revel in the delight that a little chaos sometimes brings. I can't give you wisdom because I'm still foolish enough to pretend to be smart. But I can stumble and fail with you, right alongside you, and maybe together we can finally solve life great, life's greatest mystery, how to get business class seats without actually <laughs> paying for them. I can't give you courage, because sometimes I'm just as afraid as you are. But I can laugh at the fear, poke fun of it and call it names, until it crawls back into the dark place it came from. I can't give you purity because I have a dirty mind. <laughs> but I can think of ways to put that to mutually beneficial use. <laughs> I can't give you certainty because my thoughts are always setting off in some new direction. But I can promise you the same freedom to grow and to change to remain alive to the possibilities of who we may yet become. I can't give you time because it's always slipping through my hands, but I can carry the hopes of the past into the future so that our days always feel young, even when we're old. <laughs> Lastly, I can't give you the answers because I'm still trying to understand the questions, but I can be patient toward all we don't know, trusting that someday, together, we'll live our way into them. <laughs>